So there's a couple things I have learned this year, and that is one, anytime a race is broadcasted on Fox, the race is always bad. Anytime a race is broadcasted on on NBC, it's pretty good. And surprisingly enough, this I'm calling it right here. This has got to be the best Kentucky race for the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series ever, ever, ever. This beat out 2015 by a long shot. This completely surpassed 2016. 2017 and 2018, we don't talk about. Unless you're a Mark Jerks Jr. fan, which I'm not uh, blaming you for um, for anything. But, um, yeah, so just, yeah, guys, that was a good race. I just cut it to the chase right there. So, um, yeah, good race, everyone. Uh, so, goodbye. See you all later. But, no, we're actually here to talk about the... Quaker State 400 from Kentucky uh, Motor Speedway. And, um, yeah, let's go over the events that happened in, during the race. And we'll see what's transpired. So, Daniel Suarez started on pole for the Quaker State 400. And already, um, he led throughout the first couple of laps of the race. And then there was a um, caution uh yeah there was a caution for something i forgot what it was uh was it for i think it was i think maybe was it cory lajoy that crashed or something like that or uh, no i don't think it was there was a caution uh, and he, daniel suarez easily lost the lead and already the um the usual suspects were there once again kyle bush joey logano and whatnot so um yeah so that's how it transpired and stuff like that. And then we get to the end of the stage, uh, stage one, which Kurt Busch won. And we're going to talk a lot about Kurt Busch later on. But, uh, yeah, and then stage two, not much happens. Maybe a little cautions happen here and there. I mean, this is me recording right after the race. So, honestly, my memory is kind of, it's kind of not that all that well. So, um, yeah, Kyle Busch wins stage two. And then we go to stage number three. And stage number three is the best part of the race. Stage three, best part of the race. If you miss stage one and stage two, you did not miss anything. Stage three was the best part of this race. So let's break it down. So we obviously have Kyle Busch, Joey Logano. Clint Boyer was there as well. Kurt Busch was there as well. And William Byron is up there in the lead as well. And so then there was a restart with about... Um, you know, with the, I think around 60 or 80 something to go, or I don't know, basically to the end of the stage, right? You know, and stuff, you know, stuff like that. And obviously, most of these guys, they can't real, they need to make a pit stop before this uh, stage ends. Probably just a few only stop. I think that's how the strategy played out, you know, and stuff like that. And Kurt, and there was one at one point a four way battle for the win, a four way battle for the win at Kentucky. At Kentucky, people. So, um, yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, so yeah. Um, let's also see. And then we get to one of the points of the race where I was very ticked off. And then, um, let's say a certain person on Twitter had a little bit of argument with me. It's that one Kyle Busch fan, Dalton Good or something like that. I'll, uh, yeah, if any of you know him or anything like that. So, um uh yeah but anyways um yeah william byron got a penalty for jumping the restart and i have no idea why he got this penalty at all he didn't even jump the restart i thought the rule was nascar that no one that the leader that the leader or the second place car cannot beat the leader to the start finish line i thought that was the rule but no one asked all like, no, the, the, the car the car first has to, the car first has to, uh, uh, the car first has to start the race. No one else can start the race. If you start the race, you'll get penalized because we're too stupid. That's honestly an Oscar right there. So, yeah, William Byron gets screwed. Probably could have contended for the win. He really could. And honestly, if he did not get that win, I think William Byron could have ended up maybe as the winner of this race. Maybe. This maybe. But, yeah, so then pit stops then go, um, then, you know, um, then took place. Kurt Busch and Clint Boyer um, 
pitted for obviously um, their last stop of the night. Then same thing goes to Kyle Busch and Joey Logano, and it seemed like right now that uh, Kyle Busch and Joey Logano is going to be Kyle Busch, and then Joey Logano to end up the race. But then Kyle Busch's car starts plowing, as Kyle Busch's quote. That's his. No- I swear he says plowing all the time. <laughs> so um, yeah, Kyle Busch's car is bad. Plowing. Yeah, that's basically it right there. And so then, how would I say this? Uh, Joey Logano gets such a good run coming out of turn four and is battling Kyle Busch for the win. And honestly, at this point, I'm like, and yeah, that was a really cool, exciting battle for the win. That was a cool, exciting battle for the win. But that doesn't really top off the next one I'm going to talk about. And at the point, it looked like Joey Logano, he's going to end up as the winner of this race. And honestly, really, I mean... <sighs> You know, honestly, I mean, I like, now, you know that I really were to criticize on who should or who should not win this race, but honestly, if Kyle Busch were to win this race, I would have been pissed, but just maybe kind of disappointed that Kurt Busch maybe didn't win or something like that, but at that point, I was pretty excited, and then Bubba Wallace's uh, car uh, spun down in the apron, and then we got an overtime restart, and at this point, I was thinking to myself, and I was also watching this with my dad, Kurt Busch, and as Kurt Busch, I think he's been strong on the restarts all night long, and I think he was he's going to go for the win. I think he's going to... I thought that... And, and I, I really did think that Kurt Busch is going to... was going to power move somehow, and he was going to win the race. And then we get to the restart, and that's exactly what happens. Kurt Busch... There was a three wide for the moment between them and Eric Jones. Eric Jones hadn't been up there all day. Finally got a good run. Got a, finally got a good run. The two Bush brothers bowing hard at each other. White flag lap. Coming out, going down the back stretch and coming out turn four. Kyle Bush looks like he got the better advantage. Then Kurt Bush on the high side gets the better advantage. And then Kurt Bush wins at Kentucky. Wow. That right there was an incredible finish. Incredible finish. And the deal is, a driver that I actually like won the race. And now, to be honest, I really like all NAS- drivers in NASCAR. But there's only three that I really dislike in the Cup Series. That being uh, Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick and Ryan Newman. You know, stuff like that. But, I mean, yeah. But just, let's talk about Kurt Busch's win, though. I mean, what really makes this win just so... I'm so happy for Kurt Busch winning is because, well, one... Because Kurt, Kurt Busch has always been one of those favorite drivers. One of, one of those drivers has really redeemed himself. And seeing him just going at it with his brother like that, that was just incredible battle right there. And plus, I knew that Kurt Busch was going to win races in the number one uh, Monster Energy Chevrolet. And uh, just... He did it, man. He did it. And also, by the way, that uh, picture, that uh, that shot, or that uh, NBC got where the where the members were riding on the car, that was that was great. Uh, that was pretty cool right there. So, yeah, that was that touch. I think it, like Dale Jr. said, it touched a lot of NASCAR fans, you know, and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, just. I was out of breath just celebrating, just screaming really loud because just because really Kurt Busch, you know, just I really like this. I just really like Kurt Busch as not only as a driver but just he improved himself as a person and whatnot. But we're not here to talk about the old days. So Kurt Busch ends up as the winner. Kyle Busch in second. Eric Jones third. Kyle Larson in fourth. Danny Hamlin fifth. Clint Boyer. Joey Logano. Daniel Suarez who. Felt like maybe should have won this race, maybe. Ryan Newman, ninth, and Chris Buescher, 10th. Notable finishers coming here. Um, our guy, Chase Elliott, finished 15th. Then not a good race. Alex Bowman ended up 17th. William Byron, 18th. Martrix Jr., the guy who's won at Kentucky the past two times, finished 19th. Brad Kozowski, 20th. Kevin Harvick, 22nd. And Jimmy Johnson, 30, 30th after that spin. And Austin Dillon, one of the notable finishers, uh, finished 35th. And, yeah, and then Quinn Hoof in the 34, or in the finished 34th spot. So, um, yeah, 
So overall, that right there was my race review of the Quaker State 400 at Kentucky Motor Speedway. This was a great race. The finish was good. The winner, this is something where, I mean, I think that really, um, if you have guys like Kurt Busch winning, you know, really does boost up the hypes for most people, you know, who watch this sport, you know, stuff like that. But also something else that I feel like it, we're, I'm noticing right now, and that is guys, this, I mean, Chevrolet for the past three races have won races. So, yeah, they won at Chicagoland with Alex Bowman. They won with uh, Justin Haley at Daytona, even though people said he shouldn't have won the race. I don't care. He won that race. And also, I feel like Kurt Busch should have won that race, too. And then we come to here to Kentucky, and what what be what be do? Kurt Busch wins. So, yeah. And honestly, I really thought that this race, like, it would improve because we got a one, we got a new package, and plus the mile and a half races have been great for this type of racing. And um, and I think that the Sarah package it made Kentucky good. It made Kentucky good. So overall, I give this race solid a 9 or an 8 out of 10. The first half of the race, it took a while to get going. It felt really slow. But then at the end of the race, I was pretty hyped up, man. And plus, at this point, we really don't need super speedway races just to be like, just to be like, we don't really need like super, like, tra like super speedway races so to be the good race of the season. Mile and a half races can be good as well. And that's my dad's watching the finish. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. But yeah, anyways, just congrats to Kurt Busch. He ran a great race. And with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And where are we going next week? Uh, New Hampshire. So I'm hoping it's a good race. But then again, that's probably going to be an easy win for Kyle Busch. And then also Pocono as well. So yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.